Oh my god. Oh my god. These are all the nobles that we've killed. Holy moly. Sigur is still alive. Minus 100 relationship. She hates me. Okay, so that lone horseman right there, I'm 99% sure that is the enemy leader who I'm about to take out here. Come on. Oh, yes. Look at that. God, I almost died, but he died. So I guess that's good too. Charge! Right, I'm going to tell them to charge in on those archers on the flank. This is beautiful. Look at that. We've got them completely sandwiched. I should be very careful with myself and my horse. And my horse right there. Goodbye, sir. Get ready. We we're going to wipe out the entire Sturgeon Empire. The entire lineage will no longer exist. Oh my god, this is brutal. I'm a savage person. Goodbye. Yay! Welcome back, my friends, to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. As you guys can see, we have just captured Balgard, and we are currently at war with the Sturgeons. And today we will be conquering even more of them after I rebuild my forces and re-garrison my castle because we have a war on every front. I think the thing I'm most worried about is any troops being sent from Revar to capture the castle we have hanging over here. So I really need to rebuild my army, garrison my local castle and then march towards some of these local villages here and just recruit some more soldiers and rebuild our forces. So firstly let's go ahead and look at our new city because we can manage the town here. Now I can see that the enemy, um, because they were still managing it, were building a garrison which is going to increase the garrison capacity and the bonus to the garrison capacity as well. So. That is very good. I'm actually going to leave it as it is because it's already producing a lot of food. Building houses for prosperity. We could increase food production, but to be honest, I don't really need to. Everything's pretty perfect as it is. What I am going to do is sell the spoils of war. Okay, so we've just made 12,000 gold by selling everything to our own castle. The next thing we need to do is go to the neighboring towns and recruit some more troops because... I believe Tackle Castle could actually be under threat. Um, so we might need to grab some more men and heal up the rest of our men until we can go and claim it because otherwise they're going to capture it very easily. Let's go ahead and recruit these men here. And we're going to go across to the next village. And then we need to um, get our garrison from this fort because we really need more men to protect this castle right now. Let's recruit some more troops. Now, I have 119 men, but most of them are wounded. So, we need to come across here because we need more men. Go to Ov Castle. I left a garrison here just in case things went sticky. And uh, we need to go and get the men from this castle very quickly. I want to take my experienced soldiers and horsemen right now. We're also going to go ahead and give our follower lots of troops as well. So he is at full capacity because we need all the men we can. I'm going to give him my best troops here to control. Right, he's now at the maximum troop total. Can I upgrade any more men? No, that's perfect. Okay. Fantastic. I need to leave now. Thank you, your highness. Yes. So now we have our follower who has the max amount of troops because we can't carry around, you know, 300 troops ourselves. I'm going to quickly go to these two villages and this castle over here and recruit some followers. Then we will go back and hopefully our castle hasn't been taken yet. You can see the siege camp of the enemy is already being constructed. So we need to act quickly. Luckily, these villagers are liking me a lot so I can recruit loads of troops from them and we have the money to do so. Okay, I've just spent 1,400 gold on recruiting all the troops from this city as well. Fantastic. All right, our next course of action then with our army of 116 people, still with 43 wounded, is to go back and actually take the castle. We may need to rest in a local hamlet just so we can recover some of our wounded before the battle. And then we'll be able to take back our castle and stop those people from sieging it. We still have a few prisoners with us and I'm hoping some of them will be recruitable because we really need to bolster our forces any way possible. Uh, so let's head over. I can see some looters here. They're just going to run away from us when we get close though. It would be nice to train my troops but I don't really have time to chase them around. 
it was getting to night time which is kind of annoying because i kind of wanted to get to the village ahead of time so i could sleep at night rest my troops and then we'll be at full capacity ready for the battle i have no idea how close this castle is to being siege so okay let's go ahead okay we've already recruited one let's wait here for some time we need to rest heal ourselves and also our troops as well Right, I want to wait until I'm 100% health and most of my men are uh, healed up here. So we're going to wait a little bit longer. I think we can afford to do so. Agna the Shield Maiden has just come past and she's actually heading over to the castle because she knows it's under siege. Oh, the AI followers in this game are actually quite smart. I'm going to need to tell her to come with me. I actually need her men. Your Highness, it's been a while. I hear you took the castle. I hope you made them bleed for what they did to us. Um, I actually want you to join my army. I will come with you. Okay, great. A full army. This is why you need followers before you make a kingdom. Um, we have half their men. We need to wait until we heal the rest of our wounded here. And then we can finally attack them. Now, all my party men have wounded. So, you know, we're literally healing everyone. And the longer we wait, the more men we're going to have for this battle. And we really do need at least, I would say, 190 or 200. Your settlement tackle castle is under attack. Okay. This is where we really need to leave now. We really need to head over. We've got 180 men. I'm on 74% health. We should be able to do something. We can probably get in and help with the battle. Let's hurry up and save the game just here. Okay, here we go. Let's attack them. This is going to be tricky. Help tackle castle. You have encountered the enemy army. Okay, so we slightly outweigh them. Obviously, we have the militia of the castle as well. Now, they're attacking the castle currently. They've just started the battle there's not a lot of people in here um but because we've showed up we have definitely even the odds here they do have more men but i have more experienced troops many of which are wounded um, and even i'm not fully healed so i'm hoping that we can turn the tide of this battle we're actually going to meet them on the field of battle here i can see the enemy army up ahead we want to be very careful we want to have all of our archers skirmishing out front here and i've got my Cavalry on the right flank. Okay, I'm actually going to ride ahead here. If I can get lucky and take out one of their commanders, it just massively decreases their morale. And I really don't want to take too many losses here because I know the Sturgeons have a lot of men ready to come and kill us. So if I can take out this person. Oh, I missed, fortunately. They do have um, people who throw spears, so I don't really want to get Rex up. See if I get my bow out here and do some damage to you. Oh, hello there. Okay, we're taking out their cavalry. For some reason, they rode into our ranks. I want my archers on this hilltop and the cav protecting my flanks so they can ride around behind the enemy. See if we can take a few lucky pot shots here. I can see an enemy... Is that an enemy general? I think... No, it's just a scout. Oh, no, it was the enemy general. If you see a lone horseman, it's, like, probably going to be the enemy general. Nice. Another person's been taken out there. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to sit in there. Right, we've got a nice wall here. The, the enemy archers can't really hit us. Um, so I'm going to have my archer skirmish behind because we've got a nice wall of redrin. See if we can headshot these guys. Do some additional damage. There we go, another man dead. God, this is absolute chaos. We're slowly pushing them back, but I'm really worried about these archers and I don't dare ride into their flanks killed a peasant <laughs> not very useful but hey we're just getting my men to form a shield wall so we can finish the rest of these men without getting attacked by the archers that's the enemy general okay he's down he's down oh my god i think someone killed him we need to get rid of these archers though see if i can take some of them out here There we go. Fantastic. A lot of damage being done. Some of these troops are skirmishing to surround us. 
I don't like one bit. But we are doing well, just keeping our infantry as one mobbed force here. I think the enemy's a little bit confused right now. They completely split up. Those archers are still trying to skirmish in the tree line, though. See if we can take the rest of them out here. Force their army back. They've depleted about half of our army, but um, they're trying to do a tactical retreat. We really want to kill as many of them as possible, though. We don't really want them to come back. My god, enemies are fleeing. We've won the battle. Okay, we've saved our castle, thank goodness. Just managed to do that in time with the free followers with us and bolstering our forces to the maximum amount. Goodness me, look at that killing field over there. We did a lot of damage, though we lost a lot of men ourselves too. Let's have a look at uh, how bad this was, really. Okay, so we lost uh, 66 men and 37 people were wounded. Um, we did kill double the amount that we lost, though, so that's really good. And we had a lot of influence gained as well. The influence is a lot less important because this is my own kingdom. We're at your mercy. You're my prisoner now. You are indeed. You are at my mercy, brother. Obviously, I'm going to be executing these guys and we're going to be taking those looters into our ranks. Why not? Um, I'm also going to be upgrading these men because they did very well in the battle. We're going to go inside our castle. Oh man, only 108 men left. I'm still happy with how that went though. So let's go ahead and manage this castle and see how things are going. Um, we probably need to build a militar barracks, I think. <laughs> There's like no one here because I took them all previously. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our wounded men in here. And as you guys can see, I've got another 49 wounded men in my party. So we're going to wait here in this settlement and we're just going to sit still for a while, heal up and also heal some of our wounded. Now we are going to be getting experience um, in our medical skill, which is becoming rather relevant. Uh, as you guys can see, slowly we're getting uh, a medical skill bonus here. So we have a choice of leadership perk here. Um, you can give your party a small experience bonus per day, or you can give a medium experience bonus to tier 1, 2, 3 troops, which in my opinion is really good because we always end up buying literally everyone, all the crappy troops from um, villagers. So having that big, big experience boost is going to be super useful. I'm also going to go ahead and put another focus point into leadership because it's coming very important now we're leading armies against our enemies and we also have another riding skill if i go for mounted archer we get 10 percent less penalty to range weapons on horseback oh my god that's so good definitely want that we do a lot of damage with our bow okay so let's go ahead and continue to wait here um and hopefully oh some more people some more of our prisoners want to become members of our war band let's go ahead and hire all of those people your settlement, Balgard, is under attack. Okay, Balgard is apparently under attack, right. And there's also a caravan supply here. So let's let's go out and just attack this caravan supply if we can. Yeah, we can easily catch up with them. I've got so many horses. Greeting, this caravan is owned by Sigur the Brewer. We're a trader under the protection of Fafen, master of Sibir. How may we help you? Uh, I'm going to trade with you and then I'm going to rob you. So first I'm going to trade all this crap that I don't need. Like I have 16 axes. Okay, so we made like five grand from trading with them, uh, which is obviously going to go somewhat to the Sturgeon Empire. I could also attack them though, which could be fun. I mean, why not really? Hand over your goods or die. We're paid to guard this caravan. If you want to rob it, it's going to be over our dead bodies. So be it. I'll attack you, I don't care. We massively outnumber them. Advance! Tell everyone to advance here. As long as I get my archers in range, um, this is going to be a absolute killing pill. I'm just going to ride in with my cavalry. Oh, what, the enemy have cavalry too? Okay. That's interesting. I want to go around and take these guys out if I can. Get Rexxar, 91 damage headshot. 50 damage. Oh my god, he's still tanking that damage. Where are the rest of them? Right, let's see if we can take out some of these um, 
archers defending the caravan at the back there. They're now retreating, so they're going to stop at least taking pot shots. Whoa! Beautiful. Let's go back in for another charge here. Die! Aha! Now my cavalry has joined in the fight. Perfect. We can just finish them off now. <laughs> I like how I sold them the goods. I need your money for my war. I'm sorry, this isn't personal. <laughs> but I don't want to lose too much out of it. Now we have the caravan goods for ourselves, which they were trying to protect it. Aha! Okay, so we've taken all of our stuff back that we sold to them, which we can then resell, and a lot more. So we've made a lot of money from that transaction. There's one caravan man there. I'm going to let him live. We need to go over... Wait, is that an army of 38? Are you kidding me? Who's who's attacking here? 35 people are trying to siege my castle. I know there's only 10 men in it, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is bold. That is very bold. That is the Hail Mary of all plays I've seen the AI do. First, I'm going to execute their men right in front of them. Because the thing is, if you let the AI have any men at their disposal, they will send them after you and they will raise a new army to come and attack you in. And considering we've just made our own kingdom, we can't afford any losses. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, negative implications to my my uh, character and... Um, <laughs> he can't even run. Valor, stop right there, stranger. I bid you peace. Until I find out who you are anyway. I'm Danny. Ah, I'm Valor of Gundarving. A name you will have heard many times in the sagas of the Sturgeons. I know your name. You took Bowguard. You know we're at war. Surrender or die. I've no wish... Are you no wish to fight me? You're an idiot then, because you were sieging my castle. Very well. Expect no mercy. I have no mercy to give you, my friends. Let's go ahead and attack them. Right, I'm going to go ahead and grab my cavalry here. And I'm going to tell them to go ahead and follow me. And we'll need to get rid of these skirmishers out the front of their army. Wow, they really don't have anybody, do they? Get Rex up. Look at that damage. Beautiful. I'm going to confuse the enemy by riding my cavalry around them now and we'll be doing a lot of damage here. As long as we don't take any uh, stray spears, we should be fine. Get Rex, mate. Oh, I missed. Don't throw that spear at me, brother. That's right. I'll put you down. May have shot my own horseman there. Probably not very good. I'm pretty sure all these men are literally dead. Maybe they have like one horseman left. Probably their last noble just on the horse trying to escape the battle. Yeah, there she is. She's over there. All right, let's ride her down. Look at her. She's running for her life. Oh, I shot my own man in the back. Very sorry about that. Let's take all their stuff. They literally have nothing. 34 people against like 150 men. All right, let's get back into our fort here. Uh, quest activated. Estina's plan. What's this? Weaken the empire. Estina's plan. Estina knows of the raise of your kingdom of the Battleborn. Rumor says Estina is planning to undo your progress. Be ready. Conspiracy strength. 1,000 out of 2,000. Oh, God. Conspiracy strength is 1,000 out of 2,000. I don't know what that means. I hope that's not like per man. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit some more troops from our village or town here. Okay, let's let's go over here to tackle. I'm going to uh, raise some more troops and then we're going to march north against them. So uh, recruit some troops. Thank you very much. We have 27 men wounded still. We could go to the castle and rest. Actually, no. Let's go and raid the villagers uh, up north here. Some Valadian caravans. We used to be at war with you, Valadia. Oh, Simir's army. Okay. We can take them. Actually, we can take them. I Isfan is over here. So between them, they have enough men to take us on. However, um, we can outmaneuver them and attack them at once. The only issue is going to be if that caravan joins in, uh, which I hope they don't. So let's be careful here. 
I don't know if fighting them in the trees is going to be the best. They have mainly infantry. They have some cavalry and only 14 archers. Um, okay, okay, mainly infantry in the trees. Not the most ideal place to fight. But if we can fight them before uh, Ivan gets here, that's perfect. I don't know. Oh, I think we will manage it. Yes, we have managed it. So we should be able to destroy them. Peace to you, Danny. I hear you took Balgard. Yes, you cannot defeat me. I'll teach you a painful lesson if you try. Yield. We will fight to the last drop of blood. Very well. Expect no mercy. Okay, I'm going to send the cav up to the north um, on our flank. And we'll see, we'll see where the enemy is. They're just over there at the moment. <laughs> we don't want to be sitting in this dish ditch even but we can protect ourselves from our archers if we sit at the back here they've got to come up that hill before the archers can even start shooting us and this is quite a nice place um that i'm just going to sit and put my defensive formation on it and i'm going to try and take out some of these riders though i'm going to be careful of their spears ow don't shoot my horse you bastard Ah, no, 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 not the spear. Okay, I've already taken out Gandon. Let's just watch out for their spear throwers. We're just going to ignore them for now. Right. They're falling back a little bit. Just don't want to get hit by their spear. Let me get inside my men here. See if I can take out some of their warriors. They're doing a lot of damage to us. Hey, who are you? I think that's the enemy commander there. I can't, I probably can't hit it from here. Charge in, charge in. There's only archers left. Yes, Sturgeon Hunter has been defeated. Great. This is good, we got them on the defense now. I think that's their leader just there. I really can't lay an arrow on her, so that shield is bloody huge. Okay, great, great. She's down. Whoever it was. That was a difficult fight, though. We actually took um, 42 deaths. You know, it was actually quite even considering we had, you know, a lot of men. We had like 60 more men, but they must have had experienced soldiers there. You're at my mercy. Yes, you are my prisoner now, brother. My war against Sturgia. Okay, let's go ahead and take all these men prisoner. And we have a lot of men we can upgrade now. I am going to have to sit somewhere and kind of uh, kill my party though. I'm going to go into this village and raid it for supplies. Ivan looks like he could be coming after me. Um, let's go ahead and recruit some troops. Okay, great. I can only recruit one guy. Um, okay, what I need to do then is go ahead and execute Galden. Right. There we go. Beautiful. Where are you going? Are you going to go raid one of my other men? You better not be. He's definitely on the way to go and capture another castle. I'm going to fight you, mate. Surrender or die. I don't care. Yield or fight. Attack! Let's tell our men to advance here. Hold back, Cav. I just don't want them to come over the lip of this hill and take loads of damage. You can see them over there. Rain down hell upon them. Can I hit their general? It's going to be a difficult shot, man. Oh, I hit, I hit someone. I'm doing damage. Oh, he's moving now. He's trying to fire his bow, bless him. This is a long shot, though. I feel like I'm wasting arrows. Oh, no, I hit him again. Okay, this is really nice, actually. Check this, guys. This is so cool. My army is... They're going in now. They're going in for the charge. We have such a nice spear wall. And it's behind the rock as well. So they literally can't do anything. Oh, yes. Headshot. Beautiful. 
Okay, they're already fleeing. Right, I'm gonna get my bow out and we're gonna charge down with these rocks here. And take someone out. Take one of these archers out. Oh goodness me on this. Die! Die! Oh, I'll ride them down. Charge in, everyone. Can't let them escape. These men would have killed us. Beautiful. Get Rex. Yes! Fantastic. Okay, we only lost like 10 people. You were wounded as well. That was fine. I mean, you know, we, we had perfect positioning. We had double his men. You're my prisoner now, and I'm going to execute you in front of your own men who are now my prisoners. I'm going to join this raid. Um, let's join the raid. I want to see um, if anyone comes. Aha, Yorick. Here he is. I was waiting for an enemy to appear. Okay, so I'm actually going to attack him in the trees here. He has... Two cavalry, 18 range, and 71 infantry. We can easily take him. I think it's actually going to be quite even. Yeah, so it's quite evenly matched despite us having another 30 people. Um, simply because we're not outnumbered at all, mate. You might have more experienced troops, but talking to me, we're going to fight you, brother. Outside of my expect, indeed. I'm going to attack him. Take over command! Alright, we're going to send our troops up here. Time to advance up to the tree line. And me and the cav are going to go in and wreak havoc. Now we can use our crouching spear. We can take out whoever this bro is over here. You ready? Get Rex. Oh, 581 damage to the horse. Immediately killing it. He is literally useless now. Now, I am going to just hassle the enemy over here with some arrows. I think I just hit my friendly's horse in the back there. Hey, don't shoot my horse with your arrows. I dare you. Ideally, I want to try and take out their generals, but uh, we're a bit far away currently to do that. Oh, hello. Look at this guy. Four damage, really? That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Yes, never damage. Fantastic. Yes, get wrecked. Killed a recruit there. Oh, beautiful. Hey, I thought these soldiers would be more experienced, but these guys, they do have a lot of Sturgeon Warriors. But they're getting destroyed. Goodness me, that was like the easiest battle ever. Oh, okay. So we actually took quite a bit of damage here. We got, we took 23 deaths and 13 people were wounded. I didn't know so many people died. I thought we were doing really well. But, you know, they're only recruits. They're not as well armoured as all the warriors and spearmen he had. I mean, we our army was literally made up of volunteers, peasants, and recruits. We're at your mercy. You're my prisoner now, brother. Come along with me. My god, you do have... Okay, so we upgraded a load of these men to Sturgeon Warriors, which is good because now they actually have armor. Obviously, I'm going to be executing Yorick here. Oh my god, that clan was... His clan was destroyed? Holy crap, so he wiped out his entire clan? That was like the last person in his clan? Oh my god, I'm a savage. I'm a savage man. I love it. Right, now we can go back to raiding this village with our friend here. Um, there's actually 400 people in that castle. <laughs> even when the rest of my army arrive, we can't even uh, defend it. I don't oh, God! Godun's army. Mate, we need to go. We need to go. Godun's army is huge. Dude, we need to get out of there. I need to tell this guy to bloody stop. Oh, God, I can't. What the hell? Godun's army is not messing around. I need to wait until the rest of my um, followers catch up with me and we form our army because 
Oh boy. They're not messing around. That is a big force. I don't want to lose my men in open battle either. She... Oh wait, who's this? Alvar? Alvar, hey? Alvar, mate, you look like you're joining the army a bit too late. <laughs> we get to kill him. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. So we fight. Okay, well, I guess we fight then. Alright, let's walk up into the hills here. Uh, get the high ground in the woodland. He does have some horses, so I am going to obviously try and charge them down with full health. So I will take this risk. Let's go into the crouch lance position. See the horseman here. Charging uphill, but he's dead. Get wrecked, son. Mate, this crouch lance does ridiculous damage. Oh, mate, get wrecked as well. First person crouch lancing for the win. Get back here. 31 damage. Oh, he ran into a tree. Don't worry, brother. I got you. Oh, just missed him. Just missed him. Ow, ow. That really hurt. Jesus Christ. Yes. Can't even see him. Oh my god. What the hell is hitting me right now? Get out of here, brother. I'm going to take you out, mate. Yes, Alvar is dead. Right, how's my army doing? Uh, hopefully they're okay. I just told the uh, captain to take command. It looks like they're taking out the bulk of the force there, but I guarantee we're taking losses. Kill them all! Just charge them down. What are you waiting for? Any other men left? I think that's it. I think we've killed everyone now. We didn't actually lose that many men, to be fair. Understandably so. We had, like, triple their forces. But still, I'm triggered. Guess who's getting executed? Alvar, you will be executed. Farewell, brother. Goodbye. Yes. Mate, that should increase my two-handed skill. I've executed so many people now. Kind of ridiculous. Okay, who's this then? This is um, Belhun's party. So he's our new follower. He's uh, now joining up with our army. We've got 150 men, which is still half of their army. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and see what they actually siege. I assume they're going to siege something when they come over here. And then based on that, we will attack them. Alright, so we just made another 10 grand from selling all of those war efforts. Let's go over to the local village here and also recruit some more men. Actually, you know what? Let's walk up here and see what this army's... Oh god, okay, they are sieging this castle with 328 men. Now, where's my other follower? He should... He needs to come over here. I need, a, I need his help. They have a lot of people. Absolutely the robber. Okay, now he can join our army. Right, let's go ahead and recruit some more troops from this settlement. We are now over our troop limit, but really it doesn't matter. Uh, my follower is going to join us, and then we'll have enough men to attack these guys in the open and defend our castle once again, because they love trying to take Tackle Castle, don't they? You know what, let's actually go and grab our companion. Right, let's uh, tell him... That we're going to give him some more troops just so we're not over encumbered with troops he's been doing a lot of raiding actually a lot of the men i gave him are um kind of useful now so that's good okay he has a lot of wounded men in his party unfortunately but we now have 210 people uh, excluding the 10 wounded in my party and he's got like another 20 wounded in his party so uh, we're going to attack as soon as we can. With the people who are already in the fortress, we should be able to quite easily destroy this army. Oh, okay, they just stopped sieging. Now we, now we definitely can't battle them with 213 men, but they have stopped the siege, so I reckon if we get to our castle and we grab all our troops and then we come out in full force, that could be absolutely brutal for them. So we've got another 50 troops. Yes, I know I'm over the limits. 264 men now. I reckon we could potentially take them. It's going to be hard though. Let's see if we can catch them up here. Oh god. <laughs> Stop there. Who are you? We better know each other's names before we fight. This is Godda. And he is the Lord of Tyau, one of the main Sturgeon cities. Well, I think you ought to surrender. Right. Well, I gave you a chance. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, here we go. We are actually evenly matched despite them having a lot more men. 
This is going to be a difficult fight, though. Right. What I'm going to do follow is your sergeants. get Foot my cavalry man. to follow me. After me. And then we're going to ride out and hopefully deal with the enemy's cav. While um, the other guys push up. Is that a tree? What is that? It's a rock. Okay, nice. Okay, so that lone horseman right there, I'm 99% sure that is the enemy leader who I'm about to take out here. Come on. Oh, yes! Look at that! God, I almost died, but he died, so I guess that's good too. Beautiful. Take them down, brothers! I'm gonna go in for another charger. Oh god, that's not looking good for us. Yes, beautiful. Just rounded up my horsemen so we can take care of these guys. Come on, take them out, brothers. Right, we need to kind of separate right now. Stay close! Great, great. Okay, our cab are following us. We can go around and take out their archers in a moment. We've got some more cavalry on my flank here, but the main thing is that we're keeping them away from our main army. It's very useful. Right, I'm going to go and charge them again right now. We've still got a lot of spears, though, so we need to be very careful with it. Help. Oh yes, I took out another one of their nobles. That's very good for us. Very good indeed. Alright, let's go at the back here. Oh god! That my horse is almost dead right now. Charge! Right, I'm gonna tell them to charge in on those archers on the flank. This is beautiful, look at that. We've got them completely sandwiched. I just need to be very careful with myself and my horse is dead. Fantastic for that. Another guy died. Yeah, I think we've got quite a few of them retreating here. Well, those archers are just skirmishing. We should be very careful. If I go down, our morale is going to drop considerably. I think these guys are running. Go ahead. Oh, oh God. Oh, please, please, please don't hit me with an arrow. Oh, Jesus Christ, we are so low right now. Made my infantry. Kill them all! Oh, charge in, charge in, charge the archers. We need to get in there quick, man. We are bloody low. 48 damage, nice, I hit. Come on, come on. Soldiers! Hold arrows! No, don't hold arrows! Fire at will, what are you doing? Kill them all. Goodness me. I need to be careful, man. I'm so close to dying. <laughs> Holy moly, they're running though. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, mate, that was a shot and a half. He took it right at the bomb there. Holy moly, we won. <laughs> oh, God, that felt so good. <laughs> oh, boy. That cavalry charge from behind absolutely wrecks them. Holy moly, guys. Oh, we lost 100 men. And 60 men were wounded. Essentially, I think everyone in our army either died or was wounded. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was horrific. It was... We, we, we beat Godun and his army, though. You're my prisoner now, and we're going to execute him immediately. He's like the strongest man in the Sturgeon Empire, and we have captured him. Holy crap. Look at this. That's disgusting. Everyone's, like, dead or wounded. Wait, one of the looters survived? Are you kidding me? Right, let's execute Godun. Here we go. Godun. Goodbye. Yay! I didn't even see him on the battlefield, but he was the leader of their army, and now he is dead. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to the dungeon and manage our prisoners. Oh, I didn't know I had so many prisoners. 
We can execute all of these noble. Oh my god, let's execute them all. Goodbye, sir. Get wrecked. I want to see how much damage we've done to them after we execute all of them. We're going to wipe out the entire Sturgeon Empire. The entire lineage will no longer exist. Oh my god, this is brutal. I'm a savage person. Oh my god. Oh my god, these are all the nobles that we've killed. Holy moly. Oh my god. Ragnvad died. Sigur is still alive. Minus 100 relationship, she hates me. <laughs> I've captured her and ransomed her like 50 times in our campaign so far. <gasps> we killed her father, Ragnvad. She's only 19. She's leader of the Sturgeons because you've wiped out her entire family. <laughs> I'm absolutely brutal. Okay, I've leveled up my polearm skill. We now have the Lancer ability. Crouch Lance damage increased by 30%. That is so pointless. Like, the Lance already one-hit kills everybody in the entire game. Nothing can win withstand a Crouch Lance charge. There's no need for us to do 30% more damage. But hey, I'll take it because I like seeing big numbers. And our riding skill has also gone up. We can get Bow Expert. I'm pretty sure we already got that, actually. I'm confusing. All right, I think we're going to have to heal 54 wounded men. So let's go ahead. All right, I'm going to go ahead and manage our army and we're going to go ahead and disband it. Yes. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and wait in the castle. They can do whatever they want to do. Maybe it looks like they're going to go to the holds and recruit some more men. Um, we're just going to go and heal ourselves. I'm going to let that caravan pass through my lands untouched. Oh my goodness me. We absolutely destroyed them though. Like, I'm so happy. Oh, um, conspiracy. Quest activated. Stop conspiracy. Oh, this is the quest we got previously. Try to stop the conspiracy. What is this? 1,000 out of 200. Try to stop the conspiracy. Istana knows of the rise of your kings in Battleborn. Yeah, how do I stop the conspiracy, though? There's, like, no information on that. Oh, my God. Ragnvad had a child as well, but we executed him, so he never got to see his child be born. That's so sad. All right, guys, I'm going to end today's episode here, but I hope you enjoyed it. We conquered the mightiest man in Sturgia, the leader of Tyrau Castle, and we are slowly winning our war of attrition, I feel like, but it's going to take a lot longer than I expected to take these castles. So next episode, I'm going to have another full force and we're going to go and take one of these castles. Um, it's just taken me quite a while and we just took some severe losses. So I'm going to go and play in the background. And then I'll be back for another episode of Absolute Sturgeon Slaughter. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. And goodbye.